In the last video, we looked at how to put a large 11.5 watt hour battery inside an iPod 4th generation. And while we know it's going to massively boost the battery life, we want to find out exactly how much improvement we'll get. In this video, we'll be running both the mono and photo models of the iPod 4th generation side by side. Both have been flash modded with the same adapter and 128GB micro SD card, as well as having the batteries calibrated with several charge and discharge cycles. We'll be testing a library of over 6,000 MP3 tracks at 192 kilobits per second bitrate, and both iPods will be on the latest firmwares with the same settings. EQ has been disabled and backlight set to 10 seconds. The tracks are played in sequential order since shuffling doesn't really make a difference in battery chain for flash-based iPods. Take your bets on which one will last longer, and here we go. Oh hey, you're back. So these results look pretty interesting. Right off the bat, the mono lasted longer at 40 hours of runtime while the photo ran for 34 and a half. Now, I've actually repeated this test three times and the results are always consistent with less than one hour difference between tests. One reason for this difference could be that the mono screen draws less power, but even then, 34 hours on a photo is no joke. If we compare this to original battery life, quoted by Apple, we can see that this is a dramatic increase going from 12 hours all the way to 40. Another thing I noticed is that the Mono's battery meter is less accurate than the photo. When a photo is fully charged, the battery correctly shows it's fully charged, and when it's low, it really does mean it's close to powering off. On the other hand, the Mono's battery meter never really reaches full when it's fully charged, and it drops much faster than the actual battery level. When it reaches zero, it still has about 10 hours of battery life. It's not a quirk, but it doesn't really affect usage. All in all, we're seeing major improvements in battery life on both models, and if you're dailying a 4th gen iPod, then I highly recommend giving this a try. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.